Okay, so imagine this. You go and buy a lottery ticket because you're feeling lucky one day and you walk in and you win the numbers of the winning Powerball jackpot. All right, so that was Navor Herrera. He's owned this little mini mart for seven years. The Chiapas, Mexico native sold that billion dollar winning ticket. What an insane experience that would be. Hey guys, I'm Jay from Investonomics and today I'm gonna talk you through exactly what to do if you were to win the jackpot and exactly how I would invest it that would make a lot of sense. And I'm really curious what you guys think too. Even just the thought of this much money, $1.04 billion is what the winning jackpot was just yesterday, is an absolute astronomical amount. And it's something I can't even comprehend. And it's just such a big number, especially because the winner most likely will not have a lot of funds to start with. That's just kind of the general consensus. And if you do win, this is gonna absolutely change your life and it might even change everything going forward. Okay, before we dive into how I would spend this money and how I would invest it, let's first talk about what you should do as a best practice when you actually win this money. So the first one and the most important is to take a photo as soon as you win in the spot you won that show the numbers on the ticket. And this is to make sure that nobody can take the ticket or fake it or anything like that because the metadata is gonna have some of the, the date and time. Second is that you should keep very quiet about it. Don't make a huge scene. <laughs> even though it might be hard not to freak out and just leave as soon as possible. I know this stuff is really unlikely to happen to any of us, but just in case you win, you never know, this is what you should be doing. And third is to get a, a safety deposit box or some kind of safe where you know where you left it and so it can't get stolen, you can't get robbed and it won't leave or be gone when you go to collect it. So what you might be doing right now and what I've definitely done while doing some research on this is what kind of fantasy land you can get into when you're thinking about this? Like, do you even want to win a billion dollars? Like, wouldn't that just be unfulfilling? That's kind of where I go right away because I love working hard and the kind of seeing results in terms of monetary value. And so if you're earning a billion dollars all at once, this is a huge amount of money to just have handed to you. So. I don't know if I would want to win that billion dollars in the first place. Now, of course, this might sound ridiculous to some of you. Like, of course, Jay, you should take the money. It's free, obviously, you know, but um, I don't know. Just thinking deeper about it, that's kind of how I'm starting to think about winning such a huge sum of money. But if I did win this money and I decided to go through with it, obviously, I the first thing I would do is go and take a relaxing long vacation somewhere, somewhere warm and just relax and try to get used to this new insane lifestyle that I'm going to be living. And even with the amount you win, you probably can live very comfortably and very relaxing for a very small amount relative to how much the winnings were. But I'm curious, what's the first thing you would do or buy or experience if you won the Powerball jackpot? And comment down below, what, do you, what would be the first thing that you do with your money? And another thing I've been starting to think about is the fame attached to it and the security risks. It's much like going overnight from being nobody to all of a sudden being super famous. And this is also mostly because not in all states, but most of them, they require you to release your name when you win the Powerball. And so they release your name to the public. And again, this poses a lot of security threats. So you're probably going to have a security detail, at least for a little while, while things cool off. Now what's interesting with the Powerball is that you can choose either a lump sum option or an annuity, which is an annual payment that's paid over the next 30 years. And there is a big difference in the amount. So if you get the lump sum, in this case, it would be just over 516 million or roughly half of the total jackpot, or you can get the full $1 billion over the 30 year annuities, which would end up being roughly $2.7 million per month, which is still ridiculous. But the thing that I would do is I would love to take the lump sum and you can probably guess why compound interest. If you invest that 516 million, it's going to be worth way more than that $1 billion after 30 years. So I would definitely take it into my own hands and invest it. Maybe not all of it, obviously, which we'll walk through in a minute. And again, for some people, an annuity option might be a lot better. And this is because you 
have the option of getting it handed to you in smaller chunks that you can handle. Smaller 2.7 million, I know it's still a shit ton of money, but at, it's just more manageable and people have the tendency to just blow through lottery winnings. And we've seen this time and again where people just go bankrupt or they get depressed and like spend all their money on useless stuff. And that's really sad to see. So I'm glad they have this annuity option for those kinds of people and people who don't know about this channel yet that need to learn about personal finance. Next, I would absolutely set up a trust, either a family trust, an individual trust, depending on your situation, and getting, making sure that all the assets and investments that I buy is in the trust, and so it's safe and also for tax purposes, it would make a lot of sense to set this up. Time for some real talk. After that dream vacation for a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months, what am I going to do after that? Okay, so first and most obvious, what we have to talk about is those two figures when we talked about the annuity and the lump sum, they did not include taxes. And for this tax bracket, it's gonna be enormous because the federal tax rate, the highest is 37%, over $614,000 per year. And so we're gonna be paying 37%, and depending on what state you're in, this the state taxes could also be as high as 10%. So this would bring the total to around 50%. And again, so the half, half of the total winnings will be gone right off the bat. So after tax, we'd be left with 260 million in this case. So the first thing that I would do, and of course, you should definitely consider this as well, is giving a generous sum of money to some family and friends. Uh, I've thought about this a little bit and I think it would be around $10 million. First of all, we don't want to spoil them too much and make things out of hand where they feel guilty or you feel guilty and or otherwise. So I feel like $10 million spread around a couple of friends and your family members is a good amount to let them live very nicely and just like take care of them, but not overdo it. Second, of course, you guys know me well. I love the stock market and investing. That's why you watch my videos. And of course, that is also what I would spend a lot of money on. So I would put roughly half or 125 million into that. All right, so now we're down to 125 million. So now what I want to do is diversify. And because this is such a huge amount of money, this is extra important. So next what I would look at is things like real estate where I'd put an additional $25 million into, be that in real estate investment trusts or actually buying apartments and hiring a manager to take care of them and rent them out. My next investment class would be crypto and metals such as gold, silver, copper, etc. 25 million total between crypto and those precious metals. That's also giving more diversification. Next, what I've always wanted to do and seems so interesting is venture capital or helping private and small businesses fund their businesses and for me to have an active role helping them become bigger and do their best and bring crazy new technologies to the world. That would be super cool. So I'd put 10 million dollars towards that venture. I also am very passionate about charity and philanthropy, although I haven't been able to do much with my current situation, I would love to be able to do that. And so I would designate quite a bit of money to this. And personally, I would do about $50 million towards that. Pretty generous sum, but I think it would go a long way in helping various charities and organizations that I believe in. Just for liquidity and making sure I can cover expenses as needed, it seems a little overkill, but I would have savings and a GIC, and I would have a total of five million split even, evenly between them. So two and a half million in savings, two and a half million in a GIC. That could be a one year or two, it doesn't really matter, but that's how I would split it into liquid short-term cash investments. And finally, of course, if you win this much money, you're gonna wanna spend a little bit of it and have a good time. Of course, that's also what it's for. So I'm gonna leave about $10 million for that. And of course, I'll probably save some of this as well. Won't just go outright and buy $10 million worth of stuff and some crazy house, because that, of course, is how you go bankrupt. But you do wanna enjoy it. You wanna go on some crazy vacations, maybe buy your dream car or, you know, just have a good time and enjoy the money as well. So I would put $10 million towards that. And that is the total $260 million after tax. Okay, so I wanna take a moment and I'm such a huge fan of compounding interest and it always blows my mind. Like it's just so incredible what the power of compounding does. And so I spent a couple hours just messing around with the compound interest calculator because I just couldn't believe my eyes how ridiculous these numbers were. Okay, so let's take our example that we have the 125 million that I put into the stock investments 
for this case and say we get an average return of 7%, which is roughly the market average. It's a little bit lower. It's typically between eight to 10%, but let's say it's 7% then we will be earning $8.75 million just the first year without compounding at all. So that 7% on that is almost $9 million in the first year. And of course, that's more than you could ever spend in a year on a normal lifestyle. So if you're currently 23, that's kind of what I base this off. And by the time you're 30, in the, just those seven years, your 125 million will have turned into 201 million. So you'll have made $76 million in just seven years. Now here's the real kicker and the one that absolutely just, I, I just, I was just shocked. I was like, this is unbelievable. Okay, so if you're age 65, that's 42 years from when you're age 23. If you wait this long and leave your investments to compound over time, this grows to, are you ready? $2.1 billion. So essentially, if you wait until retirement age, you're already gonna be retired, obviously, when you're 23 if you win this thing, but hey, it'll grow to $2.1 billion, and that's double what the original amount was. Now what's crazy is when you start messing around with the interest rates a little bit and the time horizon. So if we bump that 7% up to 9%, say if we had a lot of good years, and of course you can also throw in some crypto investments which will also boost the yearly return, but we won't do that here. Say it was 9%, at age 65, instead of $2.1 billion, you will have $4.6 billion. So I don't know, this is just incredible. This is so fascinating to me. And the most important thing to take away from this is that if this happens, compounding is your friend. You need to be using this or else, again, you'll go bankrupt and you'll end up like all those people in the news and that's, that's really sad. All right, so now I'm curious, what would you do with a billion dollar Powerball winning? And how would you use that money towards your future? Would you buy something crazy first and then spend the rest on investments? Would you invest way more than I even allocated here? Uh, would you uh, go invest in some crazy foreign property or some Caribbean destination vacation house? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm so curious what you guys would do. And of course, if you don't know how to invest in everything, there's a video right here that'll teach you everything you need to know on how to start investing. And I'll see you guys next time.